everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to extract the elevation values from them in RGIS Pro so now let's get started and now here you can enable the visualize we have our dem so over that we have placed our uh, point data here the point used to extract the elevation values from dem so basically we can extract our elevation values using latitude and longitude of the points so to do that now let me show you that let me open my excel file so here my excel file containing latitude and longitude and using this latitude and longitude uh, we are we're gonna extract our elevation values from them so now to do that we have to first save it as a csv file format so now go to the option called file in that we're gonna click this option called save as and browse and here i'm gonna enter the file name as xy coordinates and now here I mentioned as a CSV. So now uh, let me save the file type as CSV. CSV comma delimited. We're going to click this. And now click save. So once you did that, now let me open my RGIS. And now I am interested to add the, the latitude and longitude, longitude file into our RGIS Pro. So for that, we're going to navigate to this option called, called map. In that, we're going to click this option called Add Data. So in that, we're going to select this option called XY Point Data. So add XY Point Data to map. So click this. So the window has op opened up saying XY Table to Point. So in the Parameter section and uh, in the Input Table, we, uh, we have to input our Excel data. That is this particular Excel. So we have uh, saved in a CSV file format, the Latitude and Longitude. And the input table and now let, let me uh, select my excel file here click this option called browse so now i have navigated to my folder location here so now the file is not visible here so to uh, to view that we're going to click this option called refresh and now here here you can able to visualize the xy coordinate csv dot csv in file format we're going to click this and now click ok so now in the x field make sure that you select the longitude and the y field we have to select our latitude and in the output feature class you can choose your folder location to save your uh, to save this point data so let me browse and now we're going to save here click save and now here you can choose your output coordinate system so now we're going to leave it to a default gcs wgs 1984 and now click run and now here you can able to visualize the xy table to point has the point shape file has been added to a table of contents section here and now the file is currently in a csv file format so we can uh, save it in uh, shape file format for that we're going to right click and click this option called so in that we're going to navigate to this option called data so we're going to click this option called export features and a window pops up saying export features in the parameter section we have our input feature so we're going to click our xy table to point now choose your output file location and now here i have entered the name as extract elevation values and now click ok now let me select a folder and click ok and now choose your output name and now I have entered the output name as extract elevation values so once you did that, we can click this option called OK. And now here in the table of content section, you can uh, visualize our shape file called extract elevation values. Now let me turn this off. So now I could like to extract the elevation value from this dem using our uh, the point shape file that is our extract elevation value shape file. Now let me remove this. So we're going to extract the elevation value using our extract elevation value shape file. And here you can able to visualize from this SRTM dem, the highest elevation is marked as 1109 and the lowest elevation is marked as 302. So from this dem, you can able to visualize here, the red portion indicates the elevated region and the green areas uh, is compared to the red portion, it is uh, less elevated areas. So now I could like to extract the elevation values from, uh, from all these points. 
So to extract the elevation from our values from them, we're going to navigate this option called view. So in that, we're going to click this option called geoprocessing. So now in the search section, we're going to enter as add surface information. And now I have entered as add surface information. So we're going to click this first tool called. So now let me click this. So once you did that, so this is our Z value. So we're going to extract our elevation value. So now uh, our input feature will be our uh, the extract elevation values and our input surface uh, will be our dem data. The input surface will be our dem data. So before that, we're going to check this out. So extract elevation values in that we're going to right click and click this option called attribute table. So now here you can able to visualize we have four fields. So the two fields here represents uh, latitude and longitude and other set of fields represent FID and shape. So now we're going to extract the Z value here. So now in the input features, we're going to select our extract elevation values and the input surface will be our dem. So this particular file represents our SRTM dem. And now in the output properties, we have to select this option called Z and uh, we're going to click this option called run. And now uh, you can able to uh, Check this out and then our extract elevation values. I'm going to right click and click over option called attribute table. And now let us visualize our Z value. So the Z value here represented here. And now here you can able to visualize the elevation value of each point. So now let me click this here. And now let me uh, show you that. So here this particular point, the elevation value is represented around 614. And similarly, let me select this particular point. And here, this particular point, the elevation value is around 358. So in this way, you can able to extract your elevation value from your from your dem data. And now, uh, so now let us copy this data here. So we're gonna click this option called Control A. So now we have selected all the fields, and now click this option called Copy. So once you did that, open your Excel and now let us paste the values and control V. So once you did that, you can now you can able to visualize here the elevation value, the latitude and the longitude. So the Z represents our elevation value. And now let me remove this field. Now, this is how we can able to extract your elevation values from your dem data. Now, let me get back to our RGIS Pro. So, in this video, I have shown you how to extract the elevation values from dem using uh, RGIS Pro. So, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.